is Nathan Evaldi, who comes over to the Rangers, having dealt with some injury trouble in the past. 33 years old, but we know the fastball cooks. Here comes the one-two. And a swing and a miss. Elevated fastball gets Trey Turner, and so a very good start here for Nathan Ivaldi. Here's the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. And Ivaldi goes downstairs for strike three. Five swings and misses already for Ivaldi. So Ivaldi going up against JT Real Muto. On 0-1 in the air to right field, and that's down. And in front of Robbie Grossman, a base hit for JT Real Muto. Derek Hall playing first base today. Derek Hall, go get him in the four hole. Hall in the air to left field, and that's a base hit for Hall. So Real Muto to second base, and now he has to double back. He is out. Real Muto, a wide turnaround second, and he is toast at second base. Traditionally, the Rangers have known how to hit, but they got a tough task ahead of them in Zach Wheeler today. This guy. Is an absolute stud the last two years for the Phillies. Marcus on opening day went two for five. Here comes the right hander's 1 0 pitch, and that ball is hit deep out into right center field. This one has a chance, and it is going to make it into the bullpen a home run for Marcus Simeon. Simeon now four for nine lifetime against Zach Wheeler. Clubs his first home run of the year to give Texas. A one nothing lead. I mean, here is Nathaniel Lowe, who was one of the breakout stars in baseball last year. Left hand side and down, base hit into the shadows. A one out single for Lowe. Grossman one for three in the opener. The 1 0 pitch hit sharply on the ground. Past Stott and into right center field, a base hit. Lowe is in. Garcia headed to third. He gets there standing up. It's an RBI single for Robbie Grossman. He knocks in his fourth run of the year to give Texas a 2-0 lead. So Smith on board. Here's Simeon, who homered in the second pitch in the bottom of the first inning. The pitch. There's a swing and a smash. Caught by a diving Alec Bohm. What a play by Alec Bohm. Leaping towards the foul line. He steals a hit from Simeon. Oh, my. Playing third place a little deeper, and Zach Wheeler needed that. He needs some help from his defense, and he gets it with Alec. That's just, that is such a great throw. And here is Nathaniel Lowe, who singled and scored in the first, as the Rangers really did ambush Zach Wheeler in that first inning. 3-2, hit on the ground, first base side, past the dive of Hall, down the line, it's fair. Karam's off the side wall, Lowe marches up to second, and it's a leadoff double. For Nathaniel Lowe here in the bottom of the third, and the Rangers are cooking on Lowe's first double of the year. So man in scoring position for Garcia. Last year, drove in 101 runs. There's a swing and a drive, hard hit center. Coming on Marsh, he pulls up, plays it on a bounce. And now Marsh sails the throw into the plate, allowing Garcia to head to second base. I'm not sure where Brandon Marsh was throwing the ball. I mean, that is, that is just really uncalled for. Turner was lined up toward third. If nothing else, get it into your infield. I, I mean, Nathaniel Lowe didn't break right away because at first there was some question as to whether or not Marsh could possibly catch the ball. Counts 1-0. and Here it is. Grossman swings. It's a high drive to right center field. Backing up on it is Cave at the track. He's lost it to the sun, finds it, and makes the catch. Low tags from third. He comes home and scores. Garcia goes to third. It's a sacrifice fly off the bat of Robbie Grossman, and the Rangers' lead is now three to nothing. Here's Garver. Two and one to Garver. Left hand side. Turner has it eat him up. Run number four for Texas. Jason, I think this ball, Turner makes his play. I think this ball hits the turf, the lip of the turf. And that's why it comes up. That's a tough error right here on, on Trey Turner. Well, leadoff man is on. Here's Derek Hall. He singled his first time up. Here's a ball that's hit into deep right field and off the wall in the corner. Played there by Grossman. Real Muto hits the bag at third. He's held up there. Hall, who picked up his first hit of the season in the first, has his second hit here. A double low off the wall in the right field corner. Yeah, the Phillies are right back in business here. Second and third, no outs. Up the middle, that's off the pitcher. Evaldi kicking into short right field, and that'll bring in a couple of runs. Castellanos into second base, and the Phillies are in business. It is four to two on a pinball off the bat of the D.H. Castellanos.
And they're going to have to check on Evaldi. That ball absolutely smoked him. Oh, he's going to try. Two in, still nobody out. And here's Bryson Stott. And a swing and a fly ball, well hit right field on the run and going back. He's Grossman. He can't make the catch. It gets by him and goes to the wall. A late start, of course, for Castellanos. He will only make it to third as Grossman was able to recover in time to prevent a run coming home. But boy, now you see the flip side of it. Jake Cave was able to make his catch. Kept it to a sack fly. Here, Grossman, I think, whiffed on it partially because of the sun. After three straight doubles, inning opening walk. He's one out away from getting out of this. Here we go, 3-2. Hey, hey. Called strike three. Marsh cannot believe it. He is livid with C.B. Buckner. The Rangers 4-2 over the Phillies here in the top of the fifth. Trey Turner is the batter. Hey. Turner to right field. Robbie Grossman fighting the sun again. That ball gets down again off the warning track. Turner gunning it for third. And the throw is not in time. It's a triple for the speedster Trey Turner. He didn't even think this ball was going to be fair. Trey Turner doesn't run out of the box. Grossman loses it again in the sun. Now Schwarber. And he swings and rolls one to the right side. That'll get the run home. As Simeon scoops it, fires to first. Turner will score, and it's a one-run game at four to three. Here's Mitch Garver. Had that big 31 home run season back in 2018. Garcia at second, Young at first. Three and two, here we go. That is a rocket for Garver to left field, and Mitch Garver says, you know what? Let's not mess around. It's a three-run home run, and it's 7-3 Rangers. When he's been healthy, there has been power in that stroke, and Garver has his first home run of the year in at bat number three. And then that brings up Mitch Garver, who came up with two men on in the fifth inning. Swinging a high fly ball to left field. Schwarber back, he turns, looks, out of here! Another three-run home run for Mitch Garver, and the Rangers lead 10-3. to three. Have yourself a ball game. Mitch Garver with his eighth career multi home run game and he ties a career high with six RBIs. So the righty Bellotti the lefty Seeger first pitch Seeger swings and hits one in the air to left center. Schwarber back to his left he's got it. The runners tag everyone advances 90 feet Miller comes home to score it's a sacrifice fly for Seeger and the Rangers lead 11 to 3. That is back-to-back -back 11 run games for the Texas Rangers and they are on the hunt for more three and two up the middle to get another run home low drives in run number 12 Smith scores Simi into third a three run homer and then the small ball to get a couple runs home with a sack fly and an RBI ground out third base side and pass ball. It is a 10 run Ranger lead. Well, it's Josh Harrison who comes in. This is his fifth, fifth career pitching appearance. Now, when you're down eight runs or more, you can throw a position player. When you're up 10 runs in the ninth as the leading team, you can throw a position player. But those are the parameters now. Two down here in the ninth. Turner. In the air to center field. It won't have enough, and that is it. The Rangers have put up 27 runs in two games, and they will go for the sweep of the National League defending champs tomorrow.